Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about actor Kevin Dobson, who starred in TV dramas, Knott's Landing, Days of Our Lives, and as the young detective on, Kojak, has died at 77. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Kevin Dobson, the actor best known for playing Mac in, Knott's Landing, Detective Bobby Crocker on, Kojak, and Mickey Horton in, Days of Our Lives, died Sunday. He was 77. The United Veterans Council of San Joaquin County announced the actor's death on its official Facebook page. The Army veteran served as chairman of the San Joaquin County Group and kicked off the 4th of July virtual parade with a video. I was in the Army, I really enjoyed serving, Dobson said in the video. Born in Queens, New York, on March 18, 1943, Dobson was a brakeman and conductor on the Long Island Railroad, a semi-professional baseball player and served as an MP during the Vietnam era before breaking into acting. His big break came as Governor Harrison Brooks in TV's, One Life to Live, in 1968. In 1976, he appeared as Ensign George Gay in director Jack Smite's star-studded, Midway. Knott's Landing, at 40, remembering TV's soapy spin-off that outlasted, Dallas Kevin Dobson and Michelle Lee on, Knott's Landing. Photo, CBS, starring on TV's, Kojak, from 1973 to 1978, Dobson played Telly Savalas' eager young partner Crocker. In the 1990 TV movie, Kojak, It's Always Worth Something, Crocker had moved up to assistant district attorney. Dobson starred for 11 years as powerful attorney M. Mac, Patrick McKenzie in CBS, popular drama, Knott's Landing, alongside screen wife Michelle Lee. Dobson insisted that his character be a VA volunteer. He appeared on the long-running series, originally a, Dallas, spin-off, from 1982 to 1993 and won five soap opera digest awards for the role. Paul Karafotes, who played Harold Dyer on, Knott's Landing, called Dobson a, gracious, open-minded, actor. I remember him for his friendship, Karafotes tweeted. We had fun. Copyright 2020 USA Today, a division of Gannett Satellite Information Network, LLC.